you know, what do you do with a client who's asking you to help them? Maybe not just, you you know, you start off coaching them in business, but you find out that there's a lot more in their life that needs to be straightened out. Hi guys, uh, this is Jock here from Attraction Marketing. Uh, welcome, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel then please do so. And make sure you hit the little notification bell as well to uh, be alerted to when I release these videos. Um, also if you're listening on the podcast then also welcome to the podcast and make sure that you sign up. In this uh, video and podcast if you like we're just going to quickly quickly talk about um, something to, you know something that maybe a lot of people don't even think of and, and take for granted I recently had a, a coaching client and when we go back I, I'm going to talk about when we come back sorry I'm going to talk about what it is that that makes this quite unique you know, what do you do with a client who's asking you to help them? Maybe not just, you You know, you start off coaching them in business, but you find out that there's a lot more in their life that needs to be straightened out. If you're a business coach or you're helping someone through coaching, it's not just about business. It's not just about, you know, helping them to get leads and everything else. And it's, it's, there's a lot more involved in it. But what does it start with? What is the secret if someone is depressed, if they're sad, if they're feeling lonely, if they're in business and they're, they're, they're not getting anywhere, they're not making breakthroughs, there's one simple secret that will make them feel good about themselves and will actually propel them forward in small steps for success. So when we come back, we're going to jump right into bed. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, did you, you're probably actually noticing that you can hear me better because yet again, in another video, I forgot to put my microphone on, which is crazy. But nevertheless, I'm not going to change it. We're going to move forward. We just move with the flow. That's what we do. Did you guess what it was? Did you guess what we were going to talk about? I kind of intimated it, you know, right back at the beginning when we, we talked about it. We said we're going to jump into bed. The greatest secret that you can give anyone who's struggling is simply to make your bed in the morning. I'm not going to waffle on too much with this, but you see people who are stuck in their life, people who are stuck in depression, people who are in their businesses and not getting anything any further forward with anything. I'm not saying that you, they have to just get up and make their bed. That's just a small analogy of something. It's, to, it's, about, it's about achieving very, very small wins in their life to give them confidence, to make them feel that they're actually progressing and they're making, they're, they're making massive steps forward. You see, when someone's struggling in business, when someone is, is struggling in their life, when they're depressed, whether they're suffering through grief, whether they are, uh, you know, back in their old timelines of their own family life in the past, maybe they were, maybe they were abused, maybe they were downtrodden, maybe they were belittled, maybe people were condescending to them, and it kind of, you know, something way back in the day, something way back in your even in a previous marriage and relationships, it can scar you for the rest of your life, and so it then, you know, you go deeper into this helter-skelter, this whole, this, you know, spiral of depression and, and not feeling good enough about anything. So, you know, what what is it? What, why is, why am I meaning about making your bed in the morning? We see, as, an, as a veteran, as someone who was in the military, one of the, the, the things that we had to do all the time was to get up in the morning and make our bed, get ready for Ravali, get ready for pee and everything else. It's about achieving those small things. You see, when someone gets up in the morning, I'm just taking the bed as the analogy, when they get up in the morning and they just roll out of bed and leave everything as a mess, that is a reflection of what their mind is like. Their mind is a mess. Their, their, their whole area is a mess. You can find that the energy that's, you know, in, in martial arts we talk about the flow of energy and, and, and there's, a, there's a great movement about the flow of energy in feng shui in Japan and 
and, and I'm sure I mean, there's a great book that Maria Kondo wrote, it's a Japanese uh, uh, feng shui, well, actually beyond feng shui actually, she has her own, she has her own cleaning, uh, cleanliness uh, idea or system that she developed. Not to say that I would go absolutely nuts like she did and, and throw everything, <laughs> throw everything out. I did try it, but there's some things that you just don't want to give away. But the reality is, is that clearing your path is more about having a, a, a focused, you know, a way forward in life. That starts by making your bed. If you get up in the morning and you just, you get up and you take that away. It's all about awareness, awareness of your surroundings, awareness and then taking the action. You can have awareness in your life about something, but unless you actually take an action upon that awareness, it is good for nothing. So you actually need to take awareness and action. And so just getting up in the morning, not rolling out of your bed and then going and having breakfast and leaving it there and then thinking, ah, I'll make the bed later, I'll get to it later. I won't pick up my clothes later. I, I, I won't pick up my clothes until later. I'll just leave them there. I'll, I won't clean up just now. If we get into the habit of getting up and doing one thing that's in our awareness that makes us take that positive step forward, that is a positive step in, in order to start dealing with your life in, a, in, a, in a, a better way. So if you're an individual who's blocked and you get up in the morning and you decide, right, my win for today is I'm going to make my bed. Even if you don't do anything else, but you get up, you look at your bed and you make your bed almost like a military operation. You get up, you look at it, you make your bed, you make it tidy, you fold it away. That is going to give you a sense of achievement. It's going to give you a sense of peace in yourself, that you've actually done something, you've actually broken through one barrier that's holding you back, that lazy streak within you. Sooner or later, making your bed starts to get a bit better, you start to do more, you, you make your bed and then you clean up round about you and then before you know it, you, you do something else. What you don't realise is that taking these small steps by making your bed in the morning and as a first thing, can be the small steps that you take action in your business because if you can make your bed in the morning you can take action in your business in a positive way and if you can make your bed in the morning you can be proud of yourself because you're taking positive steps forward and if you can make your bed in the morning it means that you have greatness within you that's just waiting to be awakened through awareness you're becoming more aware of yourself and aware of your inner power and it all starts with getting up in the morning and making your bed. Because when you sit down at your desk at work, you will be focused. And the next step will be like making your bed. It'll be making that phone call, writing that article, doing that one thing that's another win, another win forward. And it doesn't matter how many setbacks you, you, you have. Because it doesn't matter... If you fall, it doesn't matter if you think you're failing. What matters is that by making your bed, you're rising to the challenge. So, that's all I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, just very quickly. This is based on an example I gave to a client who, who contacted me this morning and everything changed overnight for him by doing one thing, becoming more aware of certain things from his morning the, 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 that wake up time happens and it starts with making your bed because making your bed means you're taking pride in yourself pride in your environment and you're ready to take success forward take the bull by the horns and do it so don't be lazy get up make your bed and take the first step forward to success god bless 